So next up, we have Jonathan Gadai, who is the CEO of Adomni. Adomni is revolutionizing the way out of home is planned, thought, executed, and measured with their digital out of home DSP. Jonathan, take it away. Hi, everyone. Hope everyone's doing great. Um, Sean, Tom, thank you for having us here today. Um, my name is Jonathan Gadai, and I'm the CEO and one of the co founders of Adomni. I'm excited to share with you guys today some holiday 2021 strategies and some of the you know, cool new things that are now available to everyone here uh, on Digital at Home. So first and foremost, I've broken down you know, what we wanted to cover into um, a few different topics. Certainly want to really make sure everyone here kind of walks away from this session with a clearer picture of what's available um, and really why digital at home matters for holiday 2021. Uh, we're going to cover five topics that a lot of digital marketers just don't know about programmatic digital home. And uh, look at a couple of use cases. So we'll do some case studies. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a, I'm a regular massage person. And through the pandemic, uh, when that was taken away from me, I discovered this product, Theragun. And it's one of the few products that got me through the pandemic. So I figured uh, it'd be cool to just put together an actual uh, example with a product that I personally like. Theragun is not a client of ours yet, but um, we're gonna do one e-commerce brand and we're gonna do one uh, brick and mortar brand. So you can actually see, well, what would it look like to activate a campaign on programmatic digital home for this holiday? And then lastly, we'll, we can open it up for Q&A. So first, just a little bit about us. Um, Adomni is a pure play programmatic DSP. Uh, we were founded in 2015. Um, we are also the exclusive ad tech platform and partner for Uber's new ad business called Uber U, Uber at Home. Um, we offer both a self-service planning and buying tool as well as managed services for agencies and brands. And whether you are doing national campaigns or hyper-local, we work with uh, companies and brands of all sizes. It's a completely open platform model. So literally within minutes, you could go to Adomni.com, register an account, and be instantly planning and their digital home, uh, where it's long trained and uh, sort of expensive onboarding process. Uh, you know, over the last six years, we've launched over for digital home campaigns. Um, so we've seen a lot over that time period and can lend our expertise uh, for anyone who might be new to digital out of home or new to programmatic digital out of home. Um, there's, there's definitely some nuances to it and, um, and it's a really exciting time. In terms of why digital out of home, firstly, uh, in a simple statement, right now, especially coming out of the pandemic, people are spending more time than ever out of their homes. And this is a dashboard that, that we regularly watch, which is the Apple mobility trends. And it compares pre-COVID to, which is January 13th, 2020, to as recent as yesterday. And across the US, walking is up 70%, driving is up 51%. So everyone here is probably a consumer who can appreciate this. Being locked up for the past 18 months has been rough on a lot of, on a lot of us. And now we're you know, using our newfound freedom to go to bars and restaurants, to go to sporting events, and every step of the way, there's a digital auto home screen there to, to reach you. From a data perspective, there's a few key stats that we like to point out. Uh, out of home is one of the largest awareness channels there is, especially now with how much time we're spending out of our home. So it reaches 90% of US residents. It also is a very powerful influencer of consumer behavior. And so this is a Nielsen study that showed that 66% of smartphone users after they saw that digital billboard ad or other digital home ad ended up taking a measured action. And that includes things like going and looking something up online, accessing a coupon or discount, visiting a website. And so the idea is that the big screen is gonna make you aware of something, drive the discovery, and then the small screen is gonna take it home. It also is something that pairs really well with Google search, 40% uh, of users exposed to an out-of-home ad end up doing a Google search for that particular brand or product. So really huge engagement to drive search. And then for social, 
38% of adults surveyed in the US visit a, a Facebook page um, or, their, or, or post on Facebook re relative to whatever that ad or product is that was shown. And speaking of Facebook, on Facebook's website, they, they posted a study that showed if you just buy Facebook, you have one set of efficiency. But by actually layering on Digital Auto Home as a combined offering with Facebook and, and Instagram ads, you'll end up seeing a 15% efficiency. And popping out of the, the screen here, if anyone wants to see that, um, this, is, this is on the facebook.com site. Um, some really strong data here that backs this up. So if you're thinking about your holiday, Facebook and Instagram promotions, you absolutely wanna be thinking about how you can also complement that with Digital Auto Home. I also wanna point out that in this presentation, uh, on the top right, for those who aren't necessarily live and are seeing this later, We've added a QR code. So if you're interested in actually learning more about that one particular slide, just grab your phone, snap the QR code, and you'll be able to go right to that website. <clears throat> All right, so now shifting gears from why at a home where there's huge audiences and it drives results to the five things that we have, a lot of digital marketers just don't know. First and foremost, digital at a home is now programmatically at scale. Every single DMA in the US has significant coverage. And we also on the Domni platform have 18 other countries where you can launch a campaign. Overall, we're looking at 60 billion monthly impressions from the largest media owners in the space. Lamar Digital Billboards, Clear Channel Outdoor, Uber, um, you know, bars and restaurants, gyms. So 465,000 screens can be instantly programmatically purchased right now. And so that's something that a lot of people just didn't realize. And when you think about scale, it's not just billboards. A lot of people associate just large format roadside billboards, but we have screens on all these different touch points in the consumer journey. And so when you think about how do we get the attention of consumers at a time where there's so much fragmentation of attention at a home, which is where we're spending so much of our waking hours is available now in a brand new way. Second, audience targeting. We've partnered with a couple of different uh, mobile location data companies. Place IQ is our primary when it comes to audience uh, targeting. So if you're trying to reach a very specific audience, we are applying Place IQ's recent data to the screens that are on the platform to enable you to have a campaign that is shown on the best screens that index to your specific audience. Also, ease. You could literally launch a campaign. Before I'm done with this presentation, you could have a campaign built, planned, and launched. Five minutes is all it takes for you to identify which ge geographies to advertise in, build the plan, uh, upload your creative, launch it. And so a lot of times people think about a home as, as a channel that's just difficult to access, to plan, to buy. Well, Programmatic Digital Home has, has changed that. Number four, retargeting. We've partnered with LiveRamp and Mira, where all of the digital home screens in the platform and all of the ads that are shown are being fed with timestamped play logs to Mira, who then pumps it over through LiveRamp to your DSP of choice or to Facebook. So if you wanna be able to not only reach audiences in a powerful way, but also retarget them on their mobile phone after they've been exposed, this is available now. And then as for number five here, measurement. A lot of, one big myth is that you can't measure at a home. Well, that's changed with mobile location data. And so we can look at things like foot traffic visitation lift, if you're a brick and mortar you know, <laughs> brand, website visitation and conversion lift, mobile app KPIs. Um, we can also now, especially in the pandemic, have actionable advanced QR codes. So you can see an ad, see a product, scan it, and take them right into the conversion funnel. And for this, we, we kind of walk through the differences between standard QR and advanced QR, where it's, you know, it's, it's been simplified for the execution and the type of reporting you can come out, get out of it is, is really, really powerful. So, you know, bottom line, this is not the out-of-home that you probably think about or a lot of digital marketers think about from the old, the old days. Um, it's truly digital. It's planned, bought, measured like digital. Um, and I'm going to just show you really quickly. I know that we're you know short on time today, so I don't 
I won't be long here, uh, but check this out. So if you go to Adami.com, and I have this kind of set up here where we're not going to click on all these things, but if you click on the login and register, it'll take you right into our DSP. You can click new campaign. And then just like Facebook, you have the full universe of connected audiences that you can reach. And then you start filtering. So if you want to reach certain metro areas, certain zip codes, if I'm Theragun, what I just did is I did a point of interest search and I imported in massage locations and gyms that have audiences that theoretically would be interested in a self massaging product. And after doing that, it then changed it from 460,000 screens to 5,700. And we're only showing ads within one mile from those locations on these types of screens that have my audience. So gym goers, shopping mall visitors, digital billboards in the tops of Ubers. And I can come in, I could set a budget and a, and a schedule of any time frame. There's no minimums. I wanna do it for one day, or if I'm Theragun, I wanna do the week before Black Friday all the way through Christmas Eve. If you're an agency, you can add margin. So if you want to add a 15% markup to the cost of the media, you can easily do that. Here's where we entered in our target audience of who we're trying to reach. And literally save, upload your ad, save, launch, and your campaign can be running within an hour or two. You can also easily share the campaign plan. So if you're a brand manager, you want to share with your colleague. If you're a, an agency, you want to share with your client, click the share button. And it's going to ask you to, to just put in a summary, decide who you want to send it to, and, and literally, you know, it'll build out a web page like this that says, here's what we're trying to achieve. Here's our strategy. This is what the pricing is on a bundled all-in CPM price. Here's a map showing all the locations that are included surrounding the different stores. And so this kind of thing that used to take weeks literally can be done in minutes. And whether it's you doing this on your own or having us, you know, help perfect the, the ideal plan. Um, you know, this is, this is available right now. And if you look at last holiday, Nestle did a campaign for Starbucks for their the Nespresso capsules. And they put advertised around target stores within a very short mile, you know, five mile radius. So tops of Ubers, digital billboards, 42% lift in in-store visits of the exposed audience compared to the control audience. So it works, it's available, and um, we would love to talk to you if this is of interest. I, uh, I'm going to close by just putting up my, the slide here and, um, and saying, you know, feel free to reach out to me directly. Here's my email or scan uh, my QR and go right to my LinkedIn. I'd be happy to have a conversation with you or route you to the appropriate person uh, at Adami. Excellent. Thanks, Jonathan. I'm going to launch a little poll here for... Adomni as well. Um, I'm with you on the uh, Theragun. You can't see me right now, but I'm holding mine right here. Keep it <laughs> on my desk. Uh, big fan. So I'm glad you used that one. Um, one of the questions that came in was about the, uh, the Nielsen study. Is that publicly available? It sure is. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, we, we, can, we can share that as well. Okay. So I'll, I'll get that to the person that uh, asked that question, but if anybody else would like a copy of that study, um, send me or Tom a note and uh, we'll make sure you get it. A um, couple other questions, Jonathan. Does, does programmatic digital out of home have the same flexibility as programmatic digital? It sure does. So you can do daily budgets, you can do day parting, and you can be buying on CPM that can be changed really at any point. Excellent. Um, you, showed, you showed some pricing there in that, that Theragun example, but how does, how does digital out of home pricing compare to digital advertising? The typical CPM across all of the 465,000 screens is about seven to eight dollars. Um, there are some placements that can go as high as 20, and there can be some that go as low as four. Um, but the other interesting thing is that 99% of digital to home is video enabled. Um, so you can place a 15 second MP4 video file on a large format screen for eight to ten dollars CPM. Excellent. And then um... Obviously, you showed how quick it was to plan a campaign, but is there a creative approval process that has to be has to be vetted out with the media owners? How, how does creative work? It works the same way as Google or Facebook, where you, you would upload your creative and 
it, it'll go through a, a moderation process. Um, on our side, we release it to the media owners in an automated process, and then they click a button in an email. And once that approve button has been clicked, your, your ad starts streaming within minutes from that. Excellent. Well, that's all the questions we have today, Jonathan. Thank you so much for your time. That was, a, that was an excellent presentation. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.